Hey guys, welcome back to Tenorshare. Are you trying to restore a WhatsApp backup, but worried about losing your current chats? Maybe you've got some new messages that you don't want to lose, but you also want to bring back some old chats from a previous backup. It sounds tricky, right? Don't worry, you're in the right place. Today, I'm going to show you how to restore your old WhatsApp backup without uninstalling the app and how to keep all your new data safe. If this video helps you out, please give it a like and subscribe. Now, let's dive in. So, you've been regularly backing up your WhatsApp chats to Google Drive, which is great. But here's the catch. If you want to restore an older backup from Google Drive, normally, you'll have to uninstall WhatsApp to clear all your current data and then reinstall it to get that backup from Google Drive. That means any new messages you've received since the last backup could be lost. And you can't backup these new data because every time you create a new Google Drive backup, it overwrites the old one. So, if you make a new backup, there's no way to get that old one back. If you are okay with that, you can just do along. But how to get the old backup and also keep the new ones? We need another way. Back in the day, there were some tricks to manually restore backups without losing data. You could extract backup files from your Android phone files and restore them directly into WhatsApp. But with newer versions, these methods just don't work anymore. It will not show local backup restore option now. Unfortunately, many guides out there haven't been updated to reflect this. So if you are using the latest WhatsApp, you can skip this method. Now we need a method that does work. Now, let's talk about how you can restore your old WhatsApp backups without uninstalling the app and still keep your new messages intact. We need to download a software called iCare Phone Transfer. It's an award-winning software that works for both Android and iPhone, and it's perfect for backing up, restoring, and even transferring data across devices. This works on both Android and iPhone. You can get a free download using the link below Next, I will provide two methods for you to choose from. If you're only working with one phone, here's what you can do. You can use iCare Phone to download the old backup from Google Drive to your computer and save your recent message and then restore the old backup to your phone. This can keep your new and old data separate, but it won't let you merge them on one device. If you need to combine both, you can use a different phone to restore that old backup to it, then use iCare Phone to combine all the data into your main phone. You can choose the part you want to watch. Let's start with the first one. Plug your phone in your computer and open iCare Phone. Go ahead and select WhatsApp. Then click on Backup and choose from Google Drive to get your data back. Sign in with the Google account containing your WhatsApp backup. Normally, it will only have one backup. You can select the backup you want and click Continue to download the backup to your computer. After downloading, you need to verify the WhatsApp number of your backup. Once verified, the backup will be downloaded on your computer. You can check your message here. Now, let's go back to the home page and back up our new message. Click Backup Now, then go to your phone to create a new iCloud backup. Then go through the verify process and your new message will be saved to your computer. And now your old data and the new data is both safe. You can go to the restore area to restore the old data you downloaded before on your phone now. We can see all the backups we created here. Choose the one you want to restore to your phone. Click Restore to Android and verify your account again. This makes sure the backup is compatible with your account. After this, your old backup will be restored to your phone and your new message will be saved on your computer without being overwritten by Google Drive. So, this method is great for keeping your new and old data separate, but it won't let you merge them on one device. If you need to combine both, check out the second method. Method 2, merge old and new data using two devices. 
If you have access to a second phone, merging your old and new WhatsApp data becomes a lot easier. You can use a different phone to restore that old backup. It doesn't matter if it's Android or iPhone. So in order to better distinguish, I will use iPhone to demonstrate this time. Connect your iPhone to your computer and open iCareFone. Then click on WhatsApp, then select Backup. Choose from Google Drive and log in to your Google account to access the backup. The process is like what we showed before. When you successfully get the old backup, now you need to directly restore your backup to iPhone. Click Restore Now. Restoring the Google backup will overwrite the WhatsApp data on your iPhone. You can backup your data here if you want. Then choose the type of files you want to transfer along with your WhatsApp messages. You need to log in to WhatsApp on your iPhone. Remember to skip restoring from iCloud backup here. Then, just click logged in on your computer and wait for the restoration process to complete. Do not use your iPhone during this time. Once the restoration is complete, your iPhone will restart and you'll have all your WhatsApp messages from Google Drive on your iPhone. This may take some time depending on your storage. Now that your old data is on the second phone, it's time to merge it with the new data on your main phone. Connect your main phone to your computer. In iCare Phone, select the Transfer option. Choose WhatsApp Data Transfer and Merge. Adjust the target and source devices. Your main phone should be the destination. Click Transfer. Make sure your data are from the same WhatsApp account and the WhatsApp data on the source device must be created earlier than that on the target device. Then log in WhatsApp to create a backup on your main phone. Click Continue and wait for it to get the old message on iPhone. This may take a while if you have a lot of message. Then, after verifying your account, your data will be merged on your Android now. You may need to reinstall WhatsApp on Android and restore the iCloud backup during the sign-in process. After this process, your main phone will have both your old and new data combined. Amazing, right? Okay, now you know how to restore your old WhatsApp backups without losing your current chats and how to merge old and new data if you're using two devices. If you found this guide helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks like this one. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Have a nice day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.